Hey, Ryan's here. It's quite a popular UI pattern to show a button at the corner when hovering another interactive element. But the problem is that HTML doesn't allow putting an anchor or button inside an existing interactive element. That's why I want to share with you an action on hover component. You can see it in this focus sounds player at Increaser, where you can add a sound to favorites category by clicking a button that appears on item hover. You can find this demo and the source code in the description. The component receives an action element to display in hover, action placer styles to adjust the absolute location of the action, and a render function to display the primary interactive element. The container has a relative position and it aligns the content horizontally. And Hover will set the opacity for the action wrapper to 1 so that it will appear. To prevent the overflow, the primary element might preserve a space where the action element will appear on Hover. To achieve that, we first measure the size of the action and provide its width and height as a parameter to the render function. You can learn more about the implementation of the element size of a component here. The component is a generic function because it's more convenient to know the exact styles for the action placer component when rendering the primary interactive element. In our player example, we set the right property for an absolutely positioned placer and then use this value for padding of the primary element to have a consistent UI. To become an effective programmer, check out my productivity app at increaser.org.